Hello guys and welcome it is the SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video as we now have another incoming patch, patch 4.9 uh, for Splatoon 2. So I'm going to go over the patch notes with you guys and let's get into it. So starting off with the Sploosh-O-Matic, splash o -Matic, splash o Jr., Aerospray and Dapple Dooleys. All of these weapons now do 57% more damage to the Tentabrella shield. So. It's going to be one of those weapons that now, or all these weapons are going to be now inflicting a lot more damage when a Tentabrella user has their shield up. Next up, we have the Lunar Blaster. This is also a buff to the Luna to, you know, take on against Tentabrellas. Uh, the Lunar Blaster now inflicts 25% more damage uh, to the Tentabrella's shield, so basically just a much stronger blaster against the uh, Tender Brother now. Interesting buff for the 52 gal, uh, there's been a 4% increase of the radius uh, inking around your feet, so basically the 52 gal just generally just paints better around your feet and uh, it's going to be very helpful uh, when it comes to actually perfecting movement and all that. Next up we have the 96 gal which is something that I love as well, 8% uh, less RNG on the ground so that is going to be extremely helpful as it's going to make this weapon uh, far more accurate than usual. We have some more blasters, we have the Clash Blaster, Rapid Blaster and Rapid Blaster Pro. Uh, when shooting the Rain Makeup Shield, all of these weapons now inflict 11% more damage uh, to the Rain Maker so I mean probably not as helpful maybe to like I guess Rapid Blasters and you know that. Uh, maybe for the Clash Blaster since this weapon's gonna probably uh, pop a lot faster or inflict a lot more bullet damage uh, into a Rainmaker shield so definitely gonna help for that. Uh, but of course it will still help the Rapids but just not at the same extent as the Clash. Uh, for the Carbon Roller and Splat Rollers they both have the same buff uh, again with the Tentabrellas. Carbon Roller does 20% more damage to the Tentabrella. Uh, for the Splat Roller, it's 19%, but really it's not going to be too much of a difference. But again, that's extremely helpful uh, to, for rollers in general uh, to be able to take out uh, Redler Shields much more easily. This has been a running theme of rollers because I think it's a, one of those weapons that actually breaks through uh, the regular Redler Shield fairly fast and also ballers as well. So definitely going to be something that's super helpful for that class. The Explosure is getting like really hard enough as there's been 9% less painting on impact depending on how far you slosh a shot. So basically the further you throw your uh, slosh or Explosion shot, whichever, uh, the less it's going to basically, you know, explode and produce a lot more paint. So it might be a thing where people might actually have to consider running main power up onto this weapon because when you run main power up on this weapon you produce a lot more ink than usual so uh this is probably going to be one of those things that a lot of people uh, might you know have to jump on board with for the ballpoint splatling there seems to be a massive nerf to it uh when it's in its long range firing mode uh, the RNG for the bullets when you're in that long range firing mode has been multiplied by two which is basically not great for the bullpoint as it's going to basically make the weapon a little bit less accurate uh, when you are jumping. It's going to be a weapon where you're going to want to have to kind of stay on the ground more or less than ever. For the curling bomb and auto bomb, uh, the damage output has been changed from 150 to 180. So basically these two bombs in general are much stronger and will probably inflict a lot more damage depending on how much closer you are to them. And finally the stingray, 17% less damage when shooting through walls. So this is going to be something that we have really got to go ahead and look into as we don't know if it's a thing where if you shoot through a wall or multiple walls, uh, the damage will just decrease and continue to decrease and all that. Or maybe it's a thing where it doesn't exactly how, matter how many walls you shoot through, it will always just become, you know, a set 17% less damage uh, output. Now, I'm no, like, mathematician, like, I was, I was great at maths in school and all that, but I'm just saying, like, I'm still kind of unsure of how this is going to work. Like, hopefully it's a thing where... Uh, Stingray doesn't become so, as dominant as it has been because it's, it's I mean ever since the shockwave patch uh, for the Stingray it's been a complete nuisance into I guess just generally playing the game and all that type of stuff so I mean I'm not too sure how it's gonna really play out but hopefully uh, it's 
but may, hopefully it's a thing where it's not going to be like a necessity unless like you're all using it for maybe game types like tower control and rainmaker which is where i can kind of see it's just like okay that's probably when you want to use it but either way i mean personally i really hate stingray and I don't exactly care too much if it's a thing where they make it so bad that it's unusable because it really does ruin it. There seems to be a nerf with Baller as well. Uh, this special weapon no longer does 180 damage when there is a height difference. So I assume if you're using Baller and someone is, I guess, above you or below you and you use Baller on them, uh, they most likely will not t inf be inflicted with 180 damage. It'll probably be yeah, maybe significantly less or something like that. But if it's on the same level, I'm assuming it will continue to be 180. So, uh, and the last things that we got to really talk about uh, is the, I guess, the special differences. And there's only like there's only three this time around, which is interesting. So the Kansas Spider Shop Pro has gone from 200 to 210. Uh, no surprise there. The L3 nozzle nose, the regular one with Baller, 170 to 190, which is definitely respectable because this weapon in general was. A, a huge baller farm and I guess one I one I don't really get is the custom exposure going from 210 to 220 which is seems very painful for the custom exposure so I mean that kind of sucks but I mean I guess it is what it is but I guess my thoughts of this patch like I'm really really interested to see uh, how how stingray kind of plays out like Personally, I really hope that it just becomes a thing where, you know, it may be a necessity in a couple instances, but not like so necessary that you need it to have it on your team. Uh, hopefully it's a thing where it's just not doing outputting so much damage as it usually does because, I mean, I really, I, I mean, I said it before, I really just despise Stingray being in the game. And I mean, you guys kind of already know my thoughts. I've mentioned it all over Twitter as well. Something I really don't like in the game, and I always wish that Killer Whale will eventually make its time back. I guess for other things, maybe we can talk about a little bit about the Tentabrella. Uh, a lot of the weapons that I guess have been have received buffs for the Tentabrella uh, are not really a lot of weapons that people use, besides from like the Junior, and uh, honestly, that's it. The Junior, maybe the Rapid Blaster. Although these do seem very respectable because these are really fast firing weapons and you know you'd think that a weapon like this would probably inflict a lot more damage as it's like super close range so it does kind of make sense uh, but it's kind of nice to see that these types of weapons now ha better counter the Tantabrella. I still think the Tantabrella is going to be super strong though. I don't think you should get like the patch notes twisted because I mean, obviously there's a bunch of nerfs to the Tenta Brother, but not like, I guess, the actual weapon itself. And knowing that a lot of people, you know, when facing against the Tenta Brother, they're not usually using, the, I guess, the majority of these weapons. So, you know, just, I guess, helpful things for those shorter range weapons. And, uh, you know, hopefully people can really go ahead and take advantage of that. But, yeah. But that's all I gotta really say with this patch, guys. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Please remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you if you're feeling generous. And um, yeah, that's always, as always, guys, you know what to do. And I shall see you guys later.